Hello, I'm Dr. James Bogash, expert in health and longevity and creator of Bogash Life and Balance. And today we're going to talk about a topic I talk, I cover extensively both in office and in educational videos, and that is the relationship between heart disease and diabetes. And the practical answer is there is no difference, that essentially these are the same conditions one creating the other. And obviously diabetes or prediabetes is the linchpin, the problem that creates such damage to the cardiovascular system. Unfortunately, these two disease states are managed by endocrinology on one side and cardiology on the other side, and they usually just kind of miss each other when it comes to managing them. The nice thing about this is that what I usually tell patients is the lifestyle changes are the same. It's not like Monday I'm going to do diabetes stuff and then Tuesday is going to be heart disease stuff and maybe Wednesday I'll do bone stuff. They're all the same. And that's the nice thing is that when you focus on an anti-diabetic lifestyle, there are – it cuts across every disease state that we have. And that's because starvation was our biggest – fight for survival. So humans are uniquely adapted to fighting off starvation. Well, diabetes is on the opposite of the spectrum. It's a storage disorder. And the people most prone to diabetes are actually the most tough, uh, the people with the most tough genetics. So Northern Europeans, uh, Hispanics, Native Americans uh, seem to have some of the worst incidences of diabetes or prediabetes. The thing about Northern Europeans is they won't ever become diabetic because they typically get killed off by heart attack, stroke, or cancer before they ever become diabetic, but it's the process, the same process, that's creating the problem. So this particular study was looking at uh, 527 people with heart failure. So basically, you think of congestive heart failure where the heart is not pumping, as it's been damaged. It's the, it's the end result that leads to the end of a lot of people. And they found that 85% of these patients had elevated blood sugar, hyperglycemia. That's like a huge chunk. 10% um, of them, of the people with heart failure, had undiagnosed diabetes. 30% had prediabetes. And 60% of the Hispanic population, again, uniquely predisposed to diabetes because their genetics are so tough had diabetes. And this means that if you want to avoid heart disease or protect your heart if you've had a problem, it has to be an anti-diabetic lifestyle. So you look at the Life Simple 7 put out by the American Heart Association, it is, um, they're all focused on maintaining better blood sugar and that relationship in our body. Because you start losing control of your blood sugar or your cholesterol and your lipids, because that's a very early warning sign of uh, prediabetes, diabetes, and you're going to have cardiovascular problems because it destroys the blood vessels. So as always, I'll post a link to this particular study in the description. Make sure you like this video, share it with somebody who you think needs the information, and subscribe to the channel.